Let us explore some applications of Pythagorean theorem. I am Anil Kumar. In this video, I am only giving you a gist of what is going to come in the coming videos. We will discuss at least 20 applications of Pythagorean theorem. Here are some of them. Pythagorean theorem is applied in any right triangle. Let us say we have a triangle which has a 90 degrees angle so it is a right triangle. Now if the sides of this triangle are A, B and C then A square plus B square is equal to C square. That is Pythagorean theorem. Now with the help of this we can solve any right triangle and find its sides knowing any two sides. So if we know A and B we can find C and if we want to find A or B then the formula will be rearrange this right. You can rearrange this and you can find for example A right. So A square will be equals to C square minus B square. Remember hypotenuse is the longest side so it is its square is sum of the squares of shorter sides. But in case you want to find the length of shorter sides, then it is the difference of squares which will help you get the result. Now based on this, we have so many examples. For example, there could be a problem saying that you have a ladder which is, let us say, 10 feet long. Let's say we have a ladder which is 10 feet long and the safe distance is let us say 3 feet. Then what is the maximum height a ladder can reach? That could be a problem where height will be square root of difference of squares between the given sides. At times we may have a question based on rectangle. Now given any two sides of rectangle, that is length and width, we can find the diagonal of a rectangle. Now this particular application finds wide use. TV screens, for example, they are sold by the width, by the diagonal length of their screen. So you can find length and width knowing the diagonal and the ratio of length and width. At times we could have a problem saying that this is a park where how much distance will you save if you go across diagonally rather than walking along the sides. We could also have questions based on triangles where if we have an equilateral triangle of known side then we can find its area. Since altitude or the height of the triangle will be perpendicular to the base. Knowing the sides we can find the height and then the area. There are many interesting questions which you find in daily life. For example let us say there is a radar which is tracking an airplane. So you can find the distance of radar from the plane if you know what is the height and how far it is along the ground. So, so you can find height of a plane. In many applications you can solve complicated questions where more than one triangle is involved. Let us say if we know that this is the roof And if we know the span, for example, if this is 15 units and 15 units, and if the height is 6 units, then what is the span? You can also represent irrational numbers with the help of Pythagorean theorem, and that is interesting. Irrational number is a number like square root 2. Now square root 2 does not have an exact value but with the help of Pythagorean theorem you can actually 
find the exact segment length of square root 2. If you take one side of the right triangle as one unit, the other side also as one unit, in that case, diagonal will be square root 2. Well, that's so simple. But if you want square root 3, then what? From this, you can again make at 90 degrees, take a unit length. And if you combine that with the starting vertex, you will get length of square root 3. If you follow this process, that means every time you can add a unit length at right angles, then you can get segment lengths of square root 2, square root 3, square root 4, square root 5, and so on. So likewise, you'll find so many applications of Pythagorean theorem in my videos. I'll appreciate that now you take some moment and go through these videos and understand how to apply Pythagorean theorem and solve real life situations. Thank you and all the best.